everyone welcome to another movie review with Macca B. This one's going to be a short one because I don't have a lot to say about this film. Just seeing The Eternals and it confirms something I've been feeling for a while. The MCU is on its way out. What a load of tosh this movie was. Hella boring for the most part. I swear to God it's literally only about the last 15 20 minutes maybe where anything exciting actually happens like you get a little something at the start and we get a whole lot of origin stuff which obviously when you're introducing new characters you need the origin stuff to get to know them a bit better but they just they, they just made every character seem ridiculously bloody dull in this film you know we have Selma Hayek playing what is it Ajax so she's like you know the prime Eternal, and then when get, when shit goes sideways, all of a sudden, fucking the one that wears the green. I can't remember a bloody name now. Not Icarus, because that's Richard Madden's character. But basically, one of the most boring, underdeveloped ones becomes like the big bad, top of the range. You know, she's the hero of all heroes and all that bollocks, and it's just. It was a joke of a film. It really was. Like it's just the same so same shit different day. Give us something that's actually bloody new, something we haven't actually had before. Yeah, I'm pulling my bloody beard out with the stress of this one. I I'm glad I only paid five pounds to see it. But if this is what the MCU's got to offer, especially with the introduction of if you haven't seen or heard about the end credit scene, spoiler alert on this one. Harry Styles is playing Thanos' brother. How do we go from a big, big, bad, like, Thanos in Josh Brolin to Harry fucking Styles? Seriously? What the fuck are they playing at? I don't rate this film whatsoever. I was bored as fuck. Five pound was an overpayment to have seen this bollocks. Angelina Jolie is underutilized like no one's business. She's playing Thena. She's barely used in the movie. Or barely used to anything of actual fucking enjoyment or use, should I say. I don't I personally don't understand why people are hyping this film up. I mean, you know, each to their own, everyone there are gonna be things in this film for people that just like action and not into comic books that'll make it more enjoyable for them. There are gonna be things in this film for people who are really into the comic books and they're gonna be happy that there's an adaptation now. Fair enough, each to their own, that's their kind of thing. I've never read The Eternals, I'm not particularly fussed about them, and if this film's anything to go by, they're not bloody special. Again, just my opinion. But if, I, if I'm going to give this film a rating, it's a solid F. F for fucking failure. That's about all I can really say on that one. So, that's the thing I had on this one. Check it out down below. Uh, I'll sort of say drop a comment down below. Is what I meant to say. I don't know how the hell I messed that up. If you've seen this film, what you thought to it. 99% of people are probably going to disagree with me like, like usual. But uh, yeah, this film, load of bollocks. Not worth watching. MCU's on its way out. Fuck Harry Styles. He's a prick. See you in the next one.